Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoop from Income Tech Design and today I'm going to teach you how to make a transparent header in Elementor. This is the first video of this series on how to make an e-commerce website. I made an introduction video earlier. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. I tell you some uh, quite important information there. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this uh, transparent header in Elementor. Okay, so basically before we start, I want to show you the environment that I'm working in. I have WordPress installed on my uh, .nl domain. Uh, I chose a .nl because I live in the Netherlands and I focus to use this e-commerce site in the Netherlands um, because we're also going to put this website to production and actually use it and see how it turns out at the end of the series. All right, enough with that. Let's start with the environment. So as you can see in appearance, and themes, I have one theme installed, which is Hello Elementor. And for the plugins, I have installed the classic editor, because I hate the new editor, Elementor and Elementor Pro, and just some SSL tool to make sure that my site is secure. And that's it. Uh, next to that, I have for pages, I have a home page. So as you can see, I just put an image here to see uh, my transparent background in the future. And for now, I just have the standard header. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to go into templates. And once you're in templates, you're going to click on add new and we're going to create a header. Now, this is going to be transparent header. Oh, there it already was transparent header. Oh, let's just call it transparent header. Create. And here we go. Now, because I have Elementor Pro, that means that I get all of these blocks. I'm not going to use any of them because I want to create my own. All right, so we're going to click on the plus here to make a new structure. And for this particular one, I'm going to use a four column structure. Now, let's set the height to a minimum height of 90 pixels. That looks like a standard. Uh, oh, standard uh, how do you say it header height to me um, and before we start working i'm going to give this a little bit of a background so i can actually see what i'm doing because i have a transparent uh, background and i want to use white uh, white logos white stuff like that so i'm going to click on the six dots here at the top go to section uh, style background and then i'm going to use a black background and make it transparent so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, cool. Now, if you want to save your changes when you're done, but you don't want to publish this header yet, you can just save the draft. Okay, the very first thing what we want to do is we want to include our logo to this website. So you can either use a site logo or an image. I'm gonna use an image. And I already pre-uploaded uh, a, um, a logo for me. I created this in Photoshop really quickly. Here it is, the Woodstock by Income Tech Design. Um, let's see how large we can scale this up. I can scale it up to, what is this, 80, it's 5%, I believe. Yeah, 85%. All right, so we're gonna scale up to 85%. And we're gonna put it here at the left, so now we have the Woodstock. Okay, cool, so now we want to do a couple of things. We want to create a menu but we also want to create a search button and a cart button. Now, as Elementor doesn't have a cart by its own, as you can see, we need to install a plugin for this. And obviously we're gonna create an e-commerce website. So we're also gonna create an e-commerce, uh, or we're also gonna install a e-commerce plugin. And that is going to, be, going to be WooCommerce, of course. So we're gonna go to plugins, add new, and we're gonna search for WooCommerce. WooCommerce. Now it's the first one WooCommerce by automatic with a double T. So we're gonna install now. And this takes some time to install because it's quite a heavy application, um, but it's really easy to set up, really easy to use. Now, as I was explaining in my previous video, I'm also gonna use Croco Block and the Jet Woo Builder plugin to um, edit my WooCommerce pages. So if you want to do that as well, uh, you need to have Elementor Pro and Crocoblock, but you can really easily get them for cheap at Fiverr, where you just hire a freelancer to install Elementor Pro, Crocoblock, 
uh, and maybe even some premium theme if you want to or some security theme anyway now we get to the welcome to the WooCommerce tell us about your store and now we want the one it wants us to set this up I'm not gonna do that in this video I'm gonna create a particular video for this for now I'm just gonna skip the store setup and I'm gonna say no thanks and I'm gonna close this okay so I don't want to do anything here what I do want to do is I want to go back to my templates go back to my header my transfer and header, header and edit it with Elementor right here we go so now what we need to do is first of all we're gonna focus on the menu we want to have a navigation menu so there is a pretty nice uh, feature in Elementor that's called or the widget it's called the nav menu so we can just drag it in but you can see that we don't have a menu yet so I'm gonna save the draft and I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and create a menu real quick so I'm gonna go to appearances menus and create a main menu all right so as you can see we already have a couple of pages and I also I only had the home page as you saw earlier so Basically what happened here is these are WooCommerce pages and the ones that we want to have is the home uh, The home from Elementor and the shop uh, Let me see and the shop one. Yeah, let's add this one Home and shop. Let's save this menu and let's also create some other pages uh, The pages that we're gonna use are gonna be let me see Uh, we will want to have a contact page full width we want to have a about us page full width um, all right let's see what we have now menus view all let's add these to contact go home shop about us contact for now this is going to be fine just four items is fine save the menu all right um, let's go back to the transparent header and we can reload this page because we saved the draft as you can see the menu is now being loaded in but you can't actually quite see anything so we need to edit the styling so I have my styling right here, what I want, um, 14400 Montserrat. Okay, so let's change the typography by clicking on the pen, going to Montserrat. Let's set the text color to white, so you can actually see what we're doing. And let's set the weight to 400 and the pixel offset to 14, I believe I yeah, 14400. And then I also want the transform to be uppercase, so you have it like this. All right, so now as you can see, it's turning green when we're hovering over it, and when it's active, it's, it's also becoming green, I believe. So what we can do is we can click on hover, make the text white, click on the pointer color, and make the text white as well. So now everything is white, and the pointer width, we should only want to have this two pixels, maybe even one pixel it looks cleaner, I think. I can leave it at one pixel for now. Okay, cool. So now we have it like this, but this is not exactly what we want to do. So we want to have the menu a bit more stretched out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the six dots, go to structure, and hmm, as you can see, we only have 125 structure. So perhaps what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove one column like this and added this structure around. So I want to have something like this, looks great. All right, so now I'm gonna click on the menu and I'm gonna go into the content and I'm gonna align it to the middle. I can even align it to the right if I want, but I'm gonna align it to, yeah, let's align it to the right, that looks great. All right, next up we have the left or the right column what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an intersection for this. And we basically want to have a search form and a card form. So let's do the cards first, actually. Cards. Here you have a menu cards. 
we can insert this here. And as you can see, we have a menu card. So we go to styling, text color, let's set it to white. Icon color, set it to white. And then we have a border color. Let's set that to a transparent color so we don't have a border. Now I don't want to see the price here. Oh, it's also hovering to a gray color as you can see. So let's change that real quick. All right. Now, as you can see, we also have the pricing here and I don't want that. So you go to sub uh, subtotal and you disable it. And now you only have your cart. But as you can see, if I hover over it, you still get a border. So I want to disable that by going to hover border color and switching that off. Okay, so now that the cart is in place, we need to align it to the right. And then we need to set up the search box for our menu. So I'm just going to search for a search form and drag it in here. So now we have three options for our skin. We have the classic, we have the minimal and we have the full screen. I'm going to go for the, let me see, for the full screen one that only gives us an icon as you can see and it pops up in the screen whenever you click on it. Um, so let's go to the styling and let's say that the text color is going to be completely white. Uh, it's not doing anything right now. That is strange. Oh, it's the input. We need to set the toggle. The toggle, the color is going to be white. And the background color is going to be transparent as we don't want the background color. And let's set the icon size. Let's scale it a bit to 37. That would be great. Let's align it to the left and as you can see now the it's, it's not quite correct as you can see the search is a bit above the uh the card so what i'm gonna do is i'm click i'm gonna select the column and i'm gonna set vertical align to middle and now it's aligned to the middle and i'm also gonna do that for the cards to make sure that everything is going correctly and there we go if you click on it now you can see that the search bar is coming up um so now the only thing we have to do is i'm going to save this draft real quick the only thing we have to do is click on the six dots at the top here um go to style and uh, now go to advance and you can say that you can go to margin and you need to first unlink the values and then you need to set the bottom margin to minus 90 offset minus 90. All right, then you can see that there is a minus 90 margin now at the bottom. So the only thing now we have to do is change the color of the header to a transparent header. So let me select these three again, go to style, color. And let's make this completely transparent. So now we can't see anything. But if we now publish this, we get a where do you want to display your template pop up. So you click on add condition and you want to include it on your entire site. So you save and close it. And now your header is live and good to go. So if we exit to the dashboard and we take a look at the site. Oh, <laughs> I just don't have the home page yet. That was my home page. But if you go to a page, now you should see that your header is transparent. But for some reason, uh, my logo is not showing up. So we still need to tweak some settings. For example, it has to do with the Z index. So what we need to do is go back into templates, go into the header and edit that with Elementor. Uh, let's make the background a big black again so we can see what happened. And let's set the Z index to like 50. Let's set the cards to 50, just so we can see everything set index 50 and let's make the header itself on a 40 level so that the rest sits on top of the header and update it and let's reload this page there we go we can see our header is now here um, but it's not quite transparent yet the only thing we need to do is we need to change the color of the header to a transparent color update it Reload the page and as you can see now it's completely transparent and everything is working. We can click on the menu, uh, on the cards and we get a no products in the cards and we can click on search and it's going to pop up our search bar. And later in this series, we're going to configure this as well. 
All right, so that was everything there is to uh, the transparent header. Um, if there are any questions, you can raise them to me by personal chat uh, or send me an email. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.